Here we will talk about free body diagram. The first step to solving a problem in mechanics which involves finding acceleration as we did in the last lecture was to find any constraints. The second step to solve the problem is make free body diagram. What does that mean? Let's talk about the problem we were discussing last time. Let's make it look better. Alright, so free body diagrams. Now you see these masses are connected by a string. One of them is resting on the plane, one of them is hanging down. And we want to identify all the forces that are acting on these masses. Uh, why we are doing it, doing it we'll, 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 we'll talk in the uh, lecture of, uh, in which we'll talk about Newton's, uh, writing Newton's equation. Right now our goal is to free the body. And after we free the body, identify all the forces that are acting on, the, um, on these masses. So we have two masses here and uh, let's free the first mass let's call this one let's call this two now what are the forces acting well you see there's a tension acting which is trying to pull the mass just to let you know tension always pulls so if there's a string attached to a mass it's going to pull the object so it's going to be like this similarly for this guy tension will be pulling upward. So tension always pulls. Remember that. The tension always pulls and not pushes. Okay, so that let's say let's label it with variable T which tells tension. Also there's a force of gravity acting downward and the force of gravity is given as mass times acceleration which is g so force of gravity is mg now there's one more thing which is the normal reaction n which is coming from the table well you see if you push your hand against the table you see that the table pushes back against your hand so there's a force of gra uh, gravity mg acting downward and because of that is a normal reaction acting from the table. So you see, yes, uh, you have normal reaction also. Let's make free body diagram of the other mass. For the other mass, there's a tension T. Just remember the tension is same through out a massless string and in your problems it will be uh, it will be said that the string is massless it will be just given in your problem for sure so for this string the tension here is same as the tension there also the other force acting let's call this m1 so that this is mass 1 is force of gravity and this is m2g right so we have drawn free body diagram for both the masses uh, and you see we have freed the body let's take a little more challenging case and that is when you have a mass like this there's a pulley there's a string and also there's a mass this is 
1 and this is 2 and let's draw free body diagrams of these guys well let's draw for the second one if you draw for the second one just same as the previous case there's a force of gravity acting like this and there is a tension acting like that now let's try for the first one now for the first one you draw it as it as it is you see there's a tension acting like that and now you have to be a little careful because force of gravity is acting downward which it always acts and then the normal reaction for this case is going to be like this well why is it like this because normal reaction is always perpendicular to the surface so you see this is the surface this is the surface and this is perpendicular here to the surface so when you draw free body diagram keep in mind the tension remains constant throughout and normal reaction is always perpendicular to the surface and uh, make sure you draw a force of gravity always pointing downward and th these are the these are the only forces that are going to act friction will come later but right now uh, these are the only forces you will need to solve any problem in the next class uh, lecture we will talk about how to use these forces in writing Newton's law